Okay, so we're gonna harvest this potato plant here, only because I really have very little green left. So I don't believe I'm really gonna be getting much more growth out of it. But if I leave it in the ground, I stand a chance of them just rotting out on me. So, what we first do is pull all the weeds off the top. Try to loosen the soil a bit. And, uh, whole idea is not to tear the grow bag up. I want to be able to use it for next year. I do have a little tool here. Okay. Move the dirt. Help with moving the dirt and not tearing up the potatoes. So you kind of got to come at it slowly. Not expecting any growth in the first couple inches of earth. And when I did plant this potato, we used a method where you kept reburying it. So hopefully most of the big growth will be on there towards the bottom. But we'll see. Yeah. is try to be patient as much as possible and once I get to the level where the potatoes are then I'll probably go by hand otherwise I stand the possibility of just digging right into the potato itself. So, here's some more to plant still. <sighs> Which is good to see. Now, I think I'm starting to get to I should start seeing some potatoes here pretty soon. Now last year I don't think I harvested this early in the year. But this plant just doesn't look like it's going to be producing anymore. So I don't want to leave the potatoes in the ground. Otherwise they're just going to they're gonna rot. And we don't want rotten tomatoes, potatoes. A lot of times if you're patient, you look for deals. There we go. You can find them. So this like a $20 digging tool that they had on special for five bucks. So I bought it. A lot of times if you're patient, you can come across some really good bargains. And of course, garage sales and are a good place too, but this was at a major retailer. Wife had a gift card too. That was the only reason we were in there. I said for five bucks, I said, yep, that'll be a useful tool. So, still trying to get down to where those potatoes are. Pretty sure we have some. So I'm going to pause the video so it doesn't become too long.
And while you're out here, you got to remember to stay hydrated. And keep the water flowing. So I've made some more progress, but still, I haven't come across, come across any potatoes yet. I have to think it's happening pretty soon. Now there's a lot of insects, pill bugs, and centipedes, and things like that that I am coming across. And just put the dirt back in the garden. In the areas I dug it from to begin with. Now once I get enough of the dirt out, I may be able to manipulate this dump it. But I still think it's too heavy for me to do that. So I want to remove more weight. And we'll come back to that when I get there. So the good thing is, is the ground has moisture in it, but it's not saturated. Not that you're watering it. <coughs> if you saturate there heck out of it. Well, then you can cause things to rot. Ah. Come on, tough grass. So, let me give it a little test. Oh, yeah, it's still way too heavy. So, got to dig more out. All right, so I've uncovered my first potato. So, there's a nice size one right there. So, it's about the size of a league baseball or a tennis ball. That's a good size. Oh, here, there's a bigger one. Kind of way coming at it slowly. Otherwise, you end up literally splitting it with your shovel, which we don't want to do. So, another bucket of dirt out. Now, once I get to where I can just dump it on the ground. And I'll be able to go through them faster, so let's give it a test lift. Yep, I think we can do it now. So, I'll take it over there and dump it, and we'll see what we'll find. All right, so I'm carried over here. See what sort of harvest I got. So far two nice sized potatoes. Oh, uh, basically just dump it over. Here we go. Oh man, nice, nice big taters. Oh, there's some nice big ones. So better than I thought, what you do is you 
Gotta dig through there. They're all good. Nice uniform, large size. I mean, you are gonna get some tiny ones, but I'm not here to harvest those. So, not a lot in number wise, but what I lacked in numbers, I made up in size. Here's a smaller one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, seven potatoes. But five of them are are quite large. So we'll be having those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nothing better than fresh potatoes. <laughs> 